Hi, it's Luke. Today on Out of Darts, I wanted to show you a really cool way to file, fold, and store your t-shirts. Um, I'm a little OCD on a lot of things. It comes through in my design work and in running this business and how I organize things. This is a shirt that's available on my shop. Um, a few years back, maybe four or five years ago, I started folding my t-shirts with this Japanese method of folding. At least I believe it's Japanese, and someone can correct me in the comments if you know better than I do. But I originally found the instruction on YouTube. And this saves a lot of time in folding, especially once you get fast. But the basic concept is you're going to fold using as few motions as possible. And so you can kind of see where I've got two lines here. There's a line where this has been folded. You want to imagine that you're breaking the shirts, shirt up into thirds to where you want it folded, and then into half this way. And what you're going to do is grab up here at the top, at where you want the fold, grab the same place along the same line that you want the fold here, and then with this same hand, bring it across and grab the bottom. And then you're going to flip it over. You're still holding on to everything and fold. And you end up with a perfectly folded shirt. I then like to fold them in half and I'm done. So that's an out of darts shirt that's available on our website currently. This is a go slow taco shirt. This was from end war 2017. I had so much fun. So again, we're going to grab the top corner here. Pretend there's a line going right or across here, and we're going to grab about a little past halfway down. Then bring the same hand, grab the same point here, pull, flop it down, and fold it over. And then finish. And so, as you get faster and faster, you'll be able to do these quicker than anything. I can almost guarantee it. This is a great shirt for my buddy Ryan. He has an Etsy shop where these, this is available. It's Silver Fox Industries. Love the shirt. Um, but again, same thing. We're going to grab this corner. We're going to grab about a little past halfway down. Swing over and grab both. Oh, I lost it there. Flop it. And then uh, fold it on over. And so this is another Go Slow Taco. We had a... I think we got a free one or something because they screwed up the order with the colors. That was a really sloppy job, Luke. Let's do that again. I'm trying to watch the camera and make sure that you can see what I'm seeing is not really work <laughs> working so well. But you'll get better and better and faster, and I can really move. This was a cool shirt. This is a jersey for Davis. They were kind enough to get me an honorary one because I did play with them several times before, and we actually won one of those games, or uh, day league anyway, of testing. And so that'll be a fun, fun Nerf shirt for uh, future games. Here's a Project FDL. I just saw Jesse and Jackie. They actually visited uh, the Pacific Northwest and came to uh, the same workshop that I did, went to at Protopasta. And uh, it was pretty, pretty interesting workshop. I, I think you'll really enjoy it. I did shoot some video and I'm going to get some content out, but love the FDL. And one of my favorites, <laughs> Michelle and Adriana are just super sweet gals over at Foam Blast, and they gave me this shirt a while back. Love their company, and obviously we do a lot of stuff together, a lot of projects and, and other things. Now here's a brand new shirt. This shirt is now available on my website. This is Captain Xavier's new shirt. On the side we've got his X-Strike emblem as well, so if you're wearing tack gear you can still see the logo. And uh, part of the proceeds to this will go to Chalo to help work on the space, the maker space that he wants to put together. And so you'll see, I mean, once you get used to this, they get faster and faster. Here's a Dauntless shirt. This is the winning team where I got to play with a really rad crew for this year's Regner Oktoberfest. And we did win the final match by only 10 seconds. And I will have a video about that as well, but I was waiting on Jangular to post his official footage first because he puts so much amazing work into that. That's basically it. it. A lot of it's just repetition, but what I love about folding them this way is this is how they sit inside my drawer. They are perfectly filed and organized. I can tell what shirt is because the logo is usually right up front and center. And then the neat thing here is that no shirt gets buried and crushed and wrinkled underneath and then becomes un virtually unwearable. Everything's at the same level, everything gets air, and it's all kind of ready to go. 
Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this rather unusual video. Both those shirts that I mentioned, uh, the Outer Darts shirt and Captain Xavier's shirt are both available on my website right now. Until next time, I'm Outer Darts.